Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are currently crushing the Eru enforcers with the help of our rather large coalition. The fanatics over here are just kind of going nuts for the time being, but that's okay. We're going to let them be. There's some odd slurpinor here. Oh, okay, cool. We're going to leave them be for now. The most concerning thing here for the moment is of course the fact that we lost the Uzab Vortex and terminal egress. However, that's that's by far the most concerning thing. They don't appear to be pushing out beyond that, although these guys might be heading up like over this way or something. We need to get the Eru crushed quickly, and we can see that they do have a 60k fleet down here. But we're going to grab the first, fifth, and fourth, and they're going to head into Kamiya. And the Eru will cease to exist quite soon. So that's fantastic. We are definitely going to work on reinforcing our fleets. We have a long ways to go on that. We need 150,000 alloys to make that happen. This refinery station is obviously going to get an industrial district right now. That is of utmost priority. As far as this research world goes, I guess we can go ahead and put in an advanced research complex. It's okay. We're definitely going to upgrade to alloy nano plants on Fulmar Prime. On our mining world here, we are absolutely putting in an alloy foundry. We need to ramp up our military economy. There's no doubt about that one. Alloy megaforges. And this is a fallen empire world that had basically nothing on it. And both of these had basically nothing on them. Well, for now, we're going to put in an alloy foundry. So that'll be okay. The Slurpinor completed their Colossus. Good job, Slurpinor. And I'm hoping that the Vor... Well, this fleet is not a, co a competition for this fleet. It's simply not going to happen. What are these guys doing? They're just attacking the station. Fair enough. That's going to take them some time. Not a lot of time, but a little bit of time. And yeah, they, they've got this taken over, apparently. That's interesting, because that does mean that we're going to need to land over here. I didn't notice that they had landed here. They don't have any armies there, though. So that's something that we can definitely do fairly easily. And we're going to head in and attack Kamiya. We should be leading the charge on this one. Yeah, absolutely. But look at this coalition fleet. Like, that is insane. That is a ridiculous coalition. Once the Eru are done, they're going to go after the Kennet fanatics. Now, how much of this are we going to look to actually take ourselves? I don't know. It would be slightly complicated for us to get there. Not too complicated, but a little complicated. And the question is, are they going to look to attack in like Amastis or Ilya? So far, they haven't really looked to do that. So that's a good sign. Man, the sheer amount of lag that this fleet creates is insane. <laughs> this is a ridiculous fleet. Absolutely insane. Construction. So we're going to head down over here and eliminate this station. Enemy station. And that won't be a big problem once our reinforcements show up anyway. Cool. And here they come. Beautiful. So we're going to eliminate this station. We probably could have gotten it on our own, but uh, these fleets are getting pretty small. That's for sure. We definitely need to continue to reinforce. We have borne the brunt of this war. There's no doubt about that. And I don't plan to really bear the brunt of the other Fallen Empire war. Not in the same way, but these guys were on our doorstep, so we absolutely need to eliminate them. Cool. So this station goes away. We're going to immediately head out over to Roxolana. Where is their fleet at? It's out over here. I mean, they do win that. They're also attacking up here right now. They win this as well for the moment. 
I'm kind of hoping that these guys go and deal with them, but they aren't really in a position to do so. Okay. So we've landed over here, and we are working on that. That should be no real problem there. We can also colonize over here. And I'd like to get that going. Cool. So we're heading over. Man, there's so much lag with this fleet. It's absolutely insane how much is here, for the record. I don't even know how much is here. Definitely enough to take back the uh, Terminal Egress. That's for sure. Cool. So we're going to head into Roxolana. And this is a much weaker station. Unfortunately, our Perdition Beam misses. But here's our reinforcements. Cool. That Perdition Beam does not miss, nor does that one. We have our gateway site ready in the Ejax system. We are not going to build that right now. We cannot afford the alloys. The war is more important. Cool. So obviously we don't get this location. That goes back to the Vor. That's to be expected. Cool. That construction ship gets eliminated. The question is, do we go after the Enforcers right now? Actually, it looks like they're coming to us. I'm just going to head on over. Because the Enforcers should get engaged by these guys. Which is good. We want that. If they are actually coming in here. Which would be foolish. But they are. For some reason. I have no explanation for why they would think that this is a good idea. This is a terrible idea for them. Spaceport under attack. Okay, where are they attacking? Oh, okay. Our allies are attacking up over here, it looks like. But uh, they're going to lose that. So, yeah. I mean, they're just going to get engaged by these guys and just lose. Meanwhile, our units are going to head over and attack Lyseria. So that's great. We have a new ruler mandate. Okay. And we also finished a technology here. That's our fleet command limit. So we're going to grab fleet command limit again. And we're going to bump our fleets up a little bit here. So we've got 6, 13, 26, 52 right now. I'm going to take this up to 7. 54. Cool. 7, 54, and... 7.54 and 7.54. Cool. So we'll work on reinforcing our fleets. We need a lot of alloys. There's no doubt about that. Engaging enemy fleet. Okay. So these guys are engaging them. They will lose. But they'll do some damage anyway. Cool. So we're not going to take substantial damage in this attack. We're going to leave Uflau. We don't care about Uflau. And we do want to atta attack Santitar up here. So we will definitely do that as soon as we're done taking this over. We're eliminating their army. No problem. And now we're going to head up over here. Well, actually, we are fighting this uh, transport ship first. Now we're going to head up over here. Cool. How's our invasion going? Absolutely fine. We expected that, of course. They will get eliminated very quickly. And then we will move on and continue to engage them. Now, they have attacked over here. That's fine. That's exactly where we want to go. So we're heading on up. Colony conquered. Beautiful. So we conquered this. Unfortunately, that went over to the Vor. But we'll head in over this way next. Cool. Fleet lost. Yeah, that was just one of these little corvettes. No big deal there. So next up, we're going to head up over here. Unfortunately, that went back to the Vor as well, but whatever. I think these were originally Vor areas. So that's okay. We're getting good territories up here Space as it is. Lost. We being attacked somewhere? 
If we are, that could be a problem. No, I think that's just this. So we're heading up there. And we should catch them. And they're not particularly strong, nor are their stations here particularly strong. We've lost administrative control over this. Yeah, that's expected. Okay. So we're going to take this back. No problem. In we go. And I believe that is all of their... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That went to the Vor? We had that previously. I'm a little salty about that one. I'm a little salty about that one. But that's okay. We can conquer it from the Vor later. Or I mean, liberate it from the Vor later. So this is all under control now. This war is officially over. They just don't know it yet. So we're not going to land on the archives. We're going to come down over here. And we're going to land on this on this location here. Now, there's only a little bit there. Well, there's some, actually. Uh, this is actually the weakest one. We're going to come land here instead. And we're now going to split up our primary fleets here. The fifth fleet is going to come over... Hello. The fifth fleet is going to... No. Can I click? Can I click correctly? Yes. There we go. The fifth fleet is going to come over and bombard here. The first fleet is going to come over and bombard at the archives. And finally, let's see here. The fourth fleet is going to bombard Font of Knowledge. Technology discovered. Cool. We just found explosive weapon damage. That's fine. Let's grab minerals from jobs. Let's check in on our jobs here. This factory world could definitely, it's set up as a factory world, yes, but I'm going to set it as a forge world. It could use a job, and we're going to put in an industrial district. What else do we need? This refinery station, a habitat central control, and honestly, that's it. That is all we need for now. So we do get some territory out here. That's nice. I'm going to cancel this Citadel upgrade, as well as this one. These are no longer going to be relevant, and we could definitely use those alloys. So we're going to put those into ship production. Cool. And we're going to get these invasions done. Now, I do want to pull this science ship over to... Oh, we need a science leader. Uh, it could be this guy. Sure. I want to pull them over and start researching all of these projects. Because we want the Fallen Empire tech. Uh, there's projects all over here. Cool. We'll get that all underway. At this point, we can definitely back off on our edicts. I'm not planning on fighting any Fallen Empire ships for a while. The Eru are out of the war. They just don't know it yet. They physically cannot participate anymore. The Kennet can. The Republic of Juawaktra made a juggernaut. Cool. Okay. So we're going to land on some locations here. Bombardment is happening. But it's going to take some time. This is not the most efficient bombardment fleet, that's for sure. We're going to continue reinforcing, and I'm wondering where our other fleet popped up? Here. Okay. We're going to take that up over this way. Not going that route, that's for sure. We're going to go this route. There we go. And we're also going to grab these mining stations in IRLE. May as well. Fantastic. So, it's going to be a while before we get our fleets repaired and rebuilt. That's for sure. That is absolutely going to be the case. Deploying liberation forces. Excellent. We're now working on liberating Kamiya 1. And that'll be fine. We are in breach of galactic law. That's expected. These guys may be about to attack Ilya.
They appear to be content with just sitting there for now. Okay. If we have to reconquer these locations, we can do that. Looking at the Kalaktora right now, they're overwhelming to us, but that's because we need to rebuild our fleets, right? And we have the protection of the Federation colony. for right now. We've started up our colony in Subtraneous, so that's perfect. So the next question is, which of these will be the next one to invade? Font of Knowledge is at 4818. That's a lot to bombard. Uh, this down here, are they all bombarding the archives? They kind of are. Okay. Well, that's 2400. And this is 1128. So, this is probably the one to attack next. That said, it should be noted that we don't actually get anything from invading these at this point. So, perhaps we should disengage here. And take all of these fleets and put them here. Yes. If they want to take these over, they can do it themselves. Excellent. Debris analyzed. Our edicts are currently taking us negative in unity here. Um, why is that? Looks like our cost went up substantially. Okay, good to know. We'll think about doing something about that later on. This industrial world here, we definitely could use an industrial district. We'll get that going to bring up our consumer goods and our alloys. On this tech world, we'll put in a research complex for the time being. Cool. And that's it for now. All looks good there. Now, it looks like the Federation is invading out here. I'm completely fine with that. They can do that all they want. I wonder if we'll get the territory over here. I don't think so, but that would be interesting. Actually, we did. Yeah, do it, Federation. Please. We'd love that. So, we don't have a physics researcher right now, and we definitely need to recruit one. Actually, this guy is really good. He is psychic and a cyborg. He is a psychic cyborg. I love it. So we're withdrawing now from the Eru Enforcers. The Omniforge machine fleet has attacked here. But that's fine for now. And we really want to get Terminal Egress back. That is our top priority. I'm assuming alloys are super expensive. Actually, they're not. Alloys are cheap right now. Shocking. We're going to spend everything that we have on them. Now they're super expensive, but that got us 13,000 extra alloys. That's a year's worth of income. That is huge. We're heading up to the Uzab Vortex right now. We want to take back our territory. That is our primary goal at this moment. The Fifth Fleet is also heading up there. Cool. Now they can fight each other all they want. Uh, sure, we'll accept your embassy. So this invasion will end fairly soon, I think. Yeah, and we're going to back these guys off and not really do any further invasions down here for the time being. Colony conquered. So that'll be fine. Administrative control here will flip over because we don't control the starbase. We're just going to position these guys up at Yunduk for now. And we're not going to look to invade these for a while. I don't necessarily want the Eru to be eliminated, is the thing. Now, we can see that there's a huge amount of ships over here, but we don't care. The Federation is primarily sending ships into Horsham. Kind of. Yeah. We knew that we would lose that. Right? They're primary. Are, are they coming with us? Hang on. I'm not sure if they're coming with us or if they're going over here. It looks like they're coming with us. We might want to send the first fleet over to Ilya for right now. 
And then the fourth fleet and the third fleet are going up here, as is the fifth fleet. So that should be okay for now. We're going to continue to reinforce our ships. And we're going to hope that some of these guys will help us defend our territory. I think they will. There's a, a lot of ships in Bintu right now. No doubt about that. Okay. Yes. They are going to help us defend our territory. In that case, I'm going to park these guys right here. Beautiful. So that's fine. The third fleet is in position here. We will continue to reinforce our fleets. We're still 138 months from capping out our ships. That's a while. Assuming that prices on alloys don't drop back down, which they have substantially so far. Cool. So yeah, we're not going to look to do any invasions down here. They can do that all on their own. We're to get everything we can over here. Are they attacking us, or are they just chilling? They are just chilling for the moment. Construction complete. Cool. All of these fleets are here. So we're going to lead this fleet with our first fleet. And we're going to go in and attack Horsham. Then the question is, how much of these guys' strength is here and not here? I don't know. We need to wait for these fleets to get caught up which they will arrive there in a few months. But if we launch an attack over here, I'm hoping that that will distract them. This is an incredibly powerful force here. And I don't know if we'll actually get this territory. I think we will. Yeah, we do. Beautiful. This is just a ludicrous number of fleet or of ships. It the, the performance is very bad right now. There's no doubt about that. It's insane. And more are coming. So that's all a thing. And uh yeah, that's out over here. So we're analyzing more and more of this debris. That's great. We're gonna get a lot of this tech. Um let's actually. Go on to passive, and let's research like this. This fleet should lose to what's here. And then we'll research here, come up and research here, and research here. So this is the only remaining Eru fleet, and they were missing. But they will lose. Absolutely. So that's great. We're going to push into Hadricus with our first fleet. And we're going to look to get a big battle here. In the meantime, the 5th Fleet is currently about two months away from arriving up here. Fantastic. So we're heading over. I'm just going to stop here for the moment and let our allies get a little bit caught up. We are going to, of course, continue to reinforce our fleets. So our allies are caught up enough at this point, I would argue. We're going to take the first fleet, and into Hadricus we go. The third and the fourth fleet are now in position up here. And we need 122,000. That's lower than it was a moment ago. Okay, it came back up. Fantastic. Eh, that number isn't always 100% accurate. So this is going to be a pretty major fight here. But we will win it. So that's great. We can see here that they have moved quite a lot of fleets into here. Are they just chilling? We're currently stuck here. Okay. They just left via the L gate. So they went back into here. I'm wondering if they're coming to respond to this. I hope so. Us being the vanguard here does hurt a bit, but it'll be fine. I'm glad that they're following our lead. <laughs> That's absolutely great. 
So the fifth fleet will arrive up here soon. And we're hoping to see all of their fleets pop through an Elgate somewhere over here and start heading over towards this incursion. This incursion is a pretty big deal, actually. They have to handle it. The game is not paused right now, for the record. The game is not paused. You can see right here, not paused. There we go. We saw a little bit of movement. Cool. So they get just wrecked by our coalition fleet. That's great. So we are definitely going to continue reinforcing our fleets when we can. Now is not the time for that. But it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to bring these guys up to Hadrika's. In fact, I'm going to jump drive them up here. And we are going to land on Chrysola. Assuming that that's okay. It is okay. Now the question is, do we go up and grab this? Or do we push down this direction? And I think we push down to Hyken. So we're going to go to Thomso and get into position for that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible. Including, I just booted up my computer and so I don't have my notepad up. Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Yensgram, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.